Peon fish. This is the SEMA X400. You may notice the back left thumb, which is known as the B, as in boy. It is broken. It's separated from the actual motor. It is a hard plastic. It got caught on a line. And then when it fell, I couldn't get over there fast enough to be underneath it. And it caused this damage. It is not a soft plastic and things do break. We have contacted the company, but we are going to try to do a do-it-yourself repair on this arm. So let's do our best to show you how we can maybe just take this one off and then try to glue it and see what we can do. So let's start to work where we can get a better screwdriver in here. Normally these are magnetized. This is the magnetizer and this will fit in here to get out. This is not the right way of doing it by separating. But it allows me to get the thing off and out of the way. I'm able to bring this over here comfortably so I'm able to work on it. I'm going to get this arm out of the way and now I'm able to work this off. There are two screws. There are two more screws, two more screws and a screw. Very difficult to get these two inner screws and the bottom of the motor screws. Just be careful not to lose any of the screws because they can just bounce all over the place. The last screw is over here. Do our best to figure out how to get this off now. Motor cover comes off very easy. It just lifts up and off. Run your finger along the seam line. That allows you to get everything off. To remove the motor, you can simply use your fingers or a flathead push in and this may give you some more room to work with the part. There is a bend in here that I straighten back just by giving some force and now I'm going to try to glue this and that back on and put everything back together again. As I'm doing this all by hand, I want to make sure this motor spins freely. This was bent, this was bent, so I gave a little pressure. So now I am going to put this all back together again. I'm going to basically get this in here. I have to make sure that <laughs> the motor face is on the bottom. That's the important part right here. Squeeze this bad boy in. Maybe one day we'll have three hands. All right. Put all the screws back on. The motor cover back on. We're good to go. Well, here's the ultimate test. Put my battery in. Oop, don't want to hold that button down. There we go. We're working. There you go. All fixed. Well, at least I got a light inside that's lighting up. And uh, that's my mistake. I'm going to have to tear this all apart again just to fix the light in there. But at least you can see how easy to difficult it is to repair a drone. I hope I made this video as very helpful as possible. If you ever crash and you think that just by flexing back parts can fix it, you're right. I hope this video was educational to someone out there of the SEMA X300 drone. Enjoy this review of a how to repair. Thanks, I'm Fish, and I catch you on many other videos to come.